what's up everybody welcome back to the channel today we're gonna do an install video on the SNS mini teardrop which I've already installed on the bike but I just wanted to take a quick ride just to see how it felt with the SNS pipe and one thing I haven't talked about which I have done to the bike is put the Vance and Heinz tuner on here. This is the FP3. I didn't want to go with the FP4 because I've heard horror stories about it. But I haven't done an install video with the FP3 or any video talking about it because I don't know how much longer it's going to be available. But every time I say that, I see it for sale somewhere. So it pops up here and there. And, and from everything I've read, it's the better tuner out of the two. Um, the FB3 and the FB4. So, um, I guess for admissions reasons, from what I've heard, Vance and Hines had to make some changes, and that's why they came out with the FB4. But from my understanding, the FB3 is the better tuner, so that's what I went with because I still had an opportunity to buy it. But I digress. This video is on an install video on the SNS mini teardrop which I think looks really good on this bike it looks way better than that three inch or excuse me that plate sized stock air cleaner on the 107 so and I can tell you right now that the bike is feeling good the pipe the air cleaner the tuner feeling great and for anybody out there that thinks one of those three components does not make a difference and is not needed um, I can assure you that I rode this bike after I took off the stock exhaust and put the SNS 2 and two, 2 and a 1 exhaust on it and it felt better and then I put the FD3 tuner on it and it definitely felt better in every way and now the air cleaner's on there and I just feel like it feels even better. It's getting more air to the engine and the whole system's just working how it should. So my advice is if you're on the fence about any of those components, with the exception if you're riding a 114 and it has the, like the Lowrider S I had that had the stock um, air cleaner on there that was a high flow air cleaner, that would be the exception because had this been a 114, I wouldn't have switched out the air cleaner because the stock one's already a high flow air cleaner. So, but that's all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna enjoy a ride real quick, but we'll get woo doggy. Almost got me a bird. <laughs> all right. Well, now that I've single-handedly saved the wild turkeys, let's get into this install. So unlike the 114s, on these 107s, I really don't like the air cleaner. They're just way too big. They remind me of a dinner plate. So I decided to go ahead and switch over to the mini teardrop from SNS. For those of you that don't want to watch the entire install video and you just want to see the end product, I get it. So here's a shot of it after the install. If you want to see a startup, skip to the end of this video. Why would you look outside yourself when you have all of the world inside? One, two, three, four. Okay, for those of you that are still with me and you're in it for the install portion of this video, let's get into it by first removing the stock air cleaner. First, you're gonna remove the air filter cover by removing the five bolts that hold it on. I'm using a T27 bit on a socket wrench to do this. Says it yeah, your heart is the sun and it shines as it opens. Well, your heart is the sun and it shines as it opens. Yeah, your bones are the earth and they sing with the mountain well, your bones are the earth and they sing with the mountain yeah, your bones are the earth and they sing 
Now you're going to remove the stock air filter by removing the three bolts that hold it in place. Once you get it off, you're going to find a breather hose that runs off of two breather bolts and into the back side of the air filter. All you need to do is pull that hose out of the hole on the air filter. All of the world yeah, inside my. is a space that creates your horizon. From here, just remove the breather hose from the two stock breather bolts. Create. Now using a 7 16 socket, just remove the breather bolts from the motorcycle. Now remove the back plate assembly and you'll notice that there is a gasket and that it left some residue behind on the throttle body assembly. Just use a razor blade and your choice of cleaner to remove this prior to installing the new air cleaner. You can feel it when you look Now just use a 5mm metric gallon key to take off the bracket that was part of the stock air cleaner. No surprise. You'll notice there's a zip tie attached to the bracket that's wrapped around some electrical wire. Just use some wire cutters to cut off that zip tie, but be careful not to cut the electrical wires. Now you're done removing the stock air cleaner and you can move on to installing the new mini teardrop from SNS. So the SNS filter has a little sticker that you can stick on that identifies exactly what kind of filter it is. I chose to stick it on in case someone later owns a bike down the road and has questions about it, but you can skip this step. I will say that the sticker is going to be facing inboard on the bike, so if you put it on, you're not going to see it once it's installed. From here, take this little piece and some Loctite and install it to the new back plate. What this piece does is cover up some exposed electrical wires that were previously covered up by the stock air filter due to it being so large. Just ensure that you're putting it on the right way so that it's curved into the motorcycle and not away from the motorcycle once the back plate is installed. Yeah, your heart is a sun and it shines. Is it open? From here you're going to take the three provided bolts and thread them into the back plate. You'll notice that once you thread them into the back plate that they won't fall out. They're designed to stay in which is helpful when you're installing it onto the bike. Again just make sure you put them in the same direction as the little plate that's curved into the bike. Is it open? Are the earth in this thing with the mountain? Install the provided rubber gasket on the back side of the back plate that seals against the motorcycle. This is why we cleaned up the throttle body earlier so that we would have a good seal. I recommend that you use some all-purpose grease like this that I picked up from Tractor Supply. It'll help hold the gasket in while you're installing the back plate and it'll also provide a better seal. I read that some of the SNS kits came with a little pouch of grease included, but mine didn't, so it was handy that I had this kicking around the garage. You can pick up a container of multi-purpose grease, something similar to this, at pretty much any hardware store. Now take the included breather bolts and the included washers and put one washer on each breather bolt prior to putting it in the back plate and prior to installing it on the motorcycle. 
Now the kit came with eight black washers in total, the two that we already installed and six left over. I initially installed this with using only one more washer on each breather bolt on the back side and I found that this left too much of a gap after installation so I had to take it off again and reinstall it with two extra washers. This is why they put so many washers in the kit so that you can get a good seal against your motorcycle. I've heard that some people get away with one, mine took two, and it's possible you might need all three on the back side. It just really depends on your motorcycle. Just make sure you have a good snug fit when you're done installing it. It's no Outside yourself when you have all of the world inside. Why would you look outside yourself when you have all of the world inside? And why would you look outside yourself when you have all of the world inside? Why would you look outside yourself when you have all of the world inside? Now I'm sure there's a torque spec for these bolts in the directions, but I didn't use it. I feel comfortable doing things like this by fill, but if you do that, make sure that you don't go too tight and strip the threads. This is where Loctite pays off because I don't feel like I have to tighten it quite as much. Now after installing the back plate on the bike, you're going to take one of those extra washers and if you can fit it between the back side of the back plate and the motorcycle, you probably need to add another washer. Like I said, I ultimately had to use two washers on each bolt on the back side, so six total. But then I felt comfortable and I felt like I had a good seal, so I didn't have to use those last two washers. Is the sun and it shines as it opens. One of the features I like about this air cleaner is that there's no breather tube inquired for the install. Everything's ran internally. So for example, this is the breather tube that came off of the stock motorcycle. If you look at these two holes on this air cleaner right here, they're coming straight from the breather bolts and they're acting as that tube, but it's just molded into the plastic. I think that's a pretty cool feature. Now we're on the home stretch and we're just gonna clean it up prior to putting the filter on and putting the cover on. Last but not least, just put the filter inside the cover and then install the cover with a little bit of Loctite on the bolts and we're good to go. And there we are, the end product with it. I think it looks a lot better with that teardrop on there. I haven't even started it yet, so let's just do a quick start up. I think that looks a lot better than that big old 107 plate, so. And I think it's a way better air filter. Let's go ahead and give it a start up. Make sure I'm in neutral.
Well, that's it for this one, guys. I hope it was helpful. This is Nick with Idaho Up. Until next time, keep up.